Chris, you have to speak up or I can't okay. hear you. I just said she was leaning a little bit to the, to the left. To the yeah. Shoulder. Yeah. Okay, let me add a little piece to this piece to this exercise. Put your reins in your outside hand. And and let your whip go in your outside hand as well. Okay. And take your left hand and put it straight up above your head. And now sit. Now out to the side. Now straight ahead. Scott. Now down. Side. Up. Forward. 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 Down. Side. Up. Forward. Good. Now, 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 shake. Put your leg. Let your left hand sit on your thigh. Left hand on the thigh, on the thigh, okay, and right. wiggle your okay, fingers. Wiggle, wiggle your, your fingers. fingers. Yes. Good. 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 So your position looks much better. Okay. Now punch forward with the left hand. Punch. Punch forward. Punch up. Side, down, forward, up, side, down, forward, up, side, down, forward, up, side, down. Good, walking, and let's see you go the other way. The horse is half. So what's the logic behind that? She's like this still. Okay. Yep, it's just too much arm and then when she goes to try to use the reins on the horse how do i see that um uh well we'll just go the turn around okay. and let's see if she does it the same now she might be different now that we did that exercise but let's just see if she is Because okay. there she was pretty even. Yeah, once she got put on, yeah. so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like, so what? Um, so it's a little, let's just see if what she does when we go this way. It's a little bit, Bridget, that you would feel that she couldn't shorten her reins. Like, that's what made me look, she can't move her arms and keep her seat. Her seat, her arms are trying to help her stay. And we need to have them separate. Okay. But yet, yet she still could, having contact was before we were riding. She just didn't really even. Well, we and then obviously in this exercise there is no contact. Right. And you can decide maybe maybe having the contact is the problem. So let yeah, her go right. to this yeah, exercise. Right. right. And then we add the contact in a in a little bit different way. Okay. Let's just have a look see. This is great. You look cute up there doing your gymnastics. Yeah, you both look like really nice. We'll put the. Add on this video. So even now, walking, okay. wiggle your fingers on the right. Let it hang behind your leg. Yeah, stretch up and wiggle your. Now. When I go down, do I go down there or do I get on my leg? See, just just down by your leg, wherever. Okay, wherever yeah, I get and down and now, and now just a little bit more relaxed. Now you're a little bit, um, and this might be a little bit, Bridget. What you're seeing is that her left shoulder's down and she's a little bit concave in the left side of her body. Yeah, so this way she actually needs to stretch up the left side. But there's too much tension and your arm became tense. So it's done, it needs to be done in a, in a fluid kind of way. Right. Alright, so let's go to trot and see what happens. Carefully you don't, you, flat, you don't arch your back. 
Brow, yeah, fingers. Good. Put your hand forward. Up. Side. Down. Forward. Up. Side. Down. Forward. Up. Side. Down. Good. Wiggle your fingers. What? Put your hand back down and wiggle your fingers. Yep. Keep trotting. They're sit and trot. Now, punching exercise. Hug. Forward. Up. Side. And you don't have to hold it there. So just go forward, bring it back. Okay. Forward. Up. Side. Down. Forward. With more relaxation. Just, it's a light punch. Yes. Forward. Softly. Forward. Up. Side. Down. Forward. Up. Side. Down. And a transition to walk. All right, so now I'm going to tell you something interesting. Okay. You have to, okay, and this is for Bridget. So different riders have to have different methods based on what they bring to the table. So Nancy comes with um, um, overachieving, okay? If you ask her to punch, she's going to punch like she's going to kill you. She's not just going to go like this, which most people would just do this. Yeah. So she's going to lunge. So if you tell her to lean over to the left, she's going to go, whoa, I'm way over here now. So you kind of have to work in, work in <laughs> the skills um, as, as you can without creating that overachieving kind of so over-focus on, over -focus the thing on one thing. Yes. And then... And it has to be, it's a little bit different for you as because you have to change a little bit because that's how you think a little bit as well. Yes. I mean, you will, uh, I mean, you both grasp onto the information and you hold it in your mind and then you hold it in your body. And y you have learned to take the information and let it flow through your body. Right. That's, so when you're talking to, when you're talking to Nancy, you have to kind of chant. Okay. So, you're going to say, forward, up, side, down. And you're not really going to tell her about it. You're just going to say it. Okay. Because then you see that her body, and I just say, don't hold it, because that creates more tension. So you see something you're doing that's creating more tension, then you have to find a, a softness to it. I need to spot tension. Like, I need to be able to spot, spot it. it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Because well, I'm looking at the horse, like, I'm looking at, like, you know, I'm like, I'm, so on the lunge line, we are not doing the horse. You're just going to let Shy be the merry-go-round horse while you spot tension. Because if you're looking at him, you're looking at how her tension is relating to him. Right. So you're trying to adjust the tension rather than be just playing a simple game right. with the tension. Right. So you can't do both at the moment. Once you have it out of her, then you can stay on the lunge line and you can do an exercise. But don't try to do the exercise while you're trying to get the position. Because then her mind goes back and forth and back and forth um, between what she is supposed to do with her body and what she's supposed to do with him or what she's supposed to do with her body. And that is your regular riding lesson, but that's not a lunging lesson. So when you, if you're going to help her when she's off the horse and she knows how to get rid of her tension, um, you know, whatever it is. That she's so this is just getting rid of the tension. Is it yes. helping? It, it's got to be helping to make her seat a little more it, solid because you. It does because you'd be you falling can't, off. It, yeah. That's right. She can't use anything can't but her seat to stay on. That's right. So, okay. but we don't tell her that. Well, she's an engineer. Amy. I know, but she's smart. I've don't, read but it in a book. <laughs> <laughs> that's the problem. But We're not going there. I know. Right. But whatever goes on in her mind is going to affect what she's doing with her body. So if you think she's trying to make her seat better instead of doing this, it's not going to get you. You have to let her think about this action and let the seat shuffle on its on own. Its own. Because the horse and the motion is shuffling her seat as she has to keep her balance. Right. And so because you already know she can keep her balance, then she'll fall off and you have to do something else. But right. 
She'll find your balance, but don't make her think about it. Make her, make her unstable by doing that. It's not happening. No, no. Because you can't consciously, or you can. But it's, this is making her relax. And she's not thinking about relaxing. She's thinking about punching. And then you're uh, just, it wasn't this kind of a punch. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, no, you just punch. So it's how you get her mind. It's not a trick exactly. But it's where do you focus her attention so as to come up with the right result. And um, it, it, it can be daily, slightly different. Um, you just look at what's happening, and then you decide. You know, let's say, let's, let's say tomorrow comes up, and that all looks really, really good. Then you can say, okay, now we're going to do the square. Now, when she starts to use her leg, does that all come back? And then you have a chance of saying, no, remember how it felt yesterday, or let's punch for three times around, and now let's do the thing again, so, uh, without exactly focusing her mind on it. Okay? It's tricky that way. Do you like a psychologist? Do you like a psychologist? You have to get the results half the time. And uh, that's how we get the results. Because I'm, work. because, well, I'm like she is, so I'm sitting here thinking, okay, now I need to commit. You know, and, and so, you know, yes, so and we do. those are the things that I'm yeah. trying to, like, I know what helps me, so it's like I'm trying to say those things to her to see if they're going to help her. Yeah. You know, so but your things have come over time uh, into a, um, a sort of um, organized thought process that Nancy is at the beginning of creating, and your no, I have a lot. Of, well, I have a lot more tools. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. right. Yeah. And where so what you want her to do sometimes is what you would be doing on site if you were writing. Right. But that isn't necessarily going to be what Nancy should be doing. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. if, even if, uh, and it, it might be different. The way you ride this horse might always be different than the way Nancy does, and not because of level, but because of her body, her where her reins are, where her leg is on the horse. So you might need to do something to get your flying change, you would say, and Nancy yeah. might need to do it differently so that the teacher. Well, that's the trick. Is well, yeah, this is not, no. Yeah, this is to know. I'll just get up and hide it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're, I mean, you I are having to show her. That's right. right. But, so that's why we're going to go through how to focus. And it's not a bad thing for you to focus on, okay, what was, oh, I asked her to do the square, and all of a sudden the tension came back. Right. Or, I, uh, or did the tension come back? Was I even looking to see if the tension right, came back? Right, well, yeah, and how do I, like, I so can ride and I can feel, but I have to be able to look and see. Yeah, so let's go. You want to do it again, or yeah. you want her to just ride? No, I want okay. her, no, this is more important, because okay. this is what you're going to have to do, right? Right, yeah, this is what I want her to, this is what I want her to do. I want to get rid of this tension. So yeah, have it'll go. Wanted, have a glass I want to know how to get rid of it. Well, yes, and just being certain that it's going to go in time is the first way. Yeah, I mean, I can feel it's already better than my first, but I have a ways to go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put it in the outside again? Um, well, let's just see. Now, take your reins and let's just see what we've done, if anything. I want you to think that you could punch with your arm if you wanted to, mm -hmm. even though you're not doing it. Good. You can take just a little bit more contact so that you have some connection. I'm trying not to take too much because that's when I I shift. But yeah, I gotta. Well, that's what we're trying to see if we've helped that. Good. All right, let's go to Trust City. Think about punching. Yes, now let your hand go forward two, three inches. Yes. And then let it come back again in a little half hole. 
and let it go forward. Yes. And sink a little half hold. Yes. And let it go forward. Yes. Yes. Good. 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 Very good. And yes. And now shorten your reins a wee bit. Good. And let the hand go forward and then. Yes. Yes. Don't lean left. Good. And let your hand go forward. Good. And ride him to the bit just a little bit. Yes. And now, yes. And, and now let your hand go forward again. Yes. 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 So there's lack of tension. Good. Good. And now go tall and walk. Good. Oopsie. Yes. So could you see the lack of tension when her hand went forward? Yes. So she's holding. But we got it a little bit looser, and now then you have the ability to do this. Mm -hmm. That if you have the ability to go back and forth, then you have the ability to get rid of tension. Okay. Let me see it the other way. Okay. So was I tense when I brought my reins back, but not tense when I brought them forward? Or yes. I was okay. And then I have another exercise. So let's see how this one goes. Doesn't do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in order for this to work, though, you don't want the reins too long. Okay. Good, and let's go to trot. Good, now first establish your seat. Think about punching. Yes, now let your hands go forward and keep your seat. Let go of them and keep your seat. Good, and now squeeze and come back a little with your elbows and shorten the stride. Good, and then give, yes, and then shorten the stride, shoulder blades a little bit, yes, 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 and hands a little bit relaxed. What now, what, what I want you to do, there's another exercise, so walk, yeah, that's okay, I wasn't, you weren't really on the bit there, so you couldn't quite help it. So, I don't know if you've seen people ride like this, but I want you to do it, because it's another way of reducing Trotting. Wait till that car goes back. I know that it, somehow right here there are bumps that make those trucks do that. It's right in front of the riding arena. All right, good. And now trotting. Good. Yes, find it. Your body stays the same. Up. So it's going to be one, two, one, two. When your seat goes down, your hand goes up. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, but every stride, not every other. There, there, there. Yes. Relax your arms. Yes, yes, yes. Relax your arms. Good, good, good. Relax your arms. Good. Yes. Now just have a normal trot, a normal arm, without tension. Yes. You see? Now do it. Now touch, touch. Now normal. Good. Don't tighten your seat. Let your seat go up and down when you come back. 
Good. And now, yes, good. Let your seat. Yeah, now toss your hands. In every stride, not every other. Yes, yes, yes. Not so big. It can be, it's minute. Yes. Yes, now normal. Yes. And now sit forward into your hand. No, don't change your hand. Don't change your hand. Just let your seat push into your hand. Just a little bit. Yes, keep your body relaxed. Good. Like you're just having a cup of coffee. Good. And a transition to walk. So that is got a lot bit of a lot of tension. Now yeah. again, it's not like a, you know, like I said, you can do it at any time with the horse. I do mm -hmm. do it when I feel I lose cadence. Mm -hmm. I can with my seat and my hand do that for three steps or so and I get cadence back. But it is a way of relaxing yourself and a little bit. You see him start to yeah. swing a little because because you're not holding him. Right. Because well, it gets a little more like dance. Like yes, yes, exactly. Kind of dance, and that's, yes. If you kind of think about dancing with your horse. Mm -hmm. That's and what one, it, yes, two, it gets one, a little two, bit more and, rhythmical. Yeah. yeah, that felt like the punching except I had except the reins. Except you had the reins. That's right. So we're do, we just try to find lots of ways to recreate a, um, a, relaxa a relaxed arm mm -hmm. and a relaxed but solid seat and that's the tricky part it, yeah you can because as soon as we sent you back out you held the seat just a little bit too much right instead of and then you didn't then when we went up and down then it was fine mm -hmm. so it's just because there is strength uh, yes, but relaxation yes, at the same time. Yes, and exactly. I don't even know how to describe it. Yes. It's just, <laughs> it's just that's what? right. It's a it's it's tension, positive tension. Right. And not not going over into negative tension. Right. And what helps actually when I was doing this, then I could feel my seat was tight. Like sometimes yes. when my arms are tight, I can't feel my seat. Yes, tight. exactly. That's a good point. Yep. Yep. And even then sometimes that's how you find out more about your horse. Mm -hmm. You'll find, "Oh, well, I guess he wasn't the one that was tight. I was holding him." Right. Or He's not so tight in the back. He's ready to swing through, but he is too low. Or you know, you find out things about your horse as well. Because yeah, you don't feel anything if you're all. No, you don't feel anything. You rob yourself of the horse. Feel, yeah. And so it's it's a little bit. It's not like you can't go on into working on him. But I would just I would for the next few weeks. Let's just do this. Yeah. And then do this at Canter because he can do it at Canter as well. Mm -hmm. And. Um, and canter, you can do this as well. And it's, you know, it, it looks funny. Like you wouldn't want to say, well, Ann told me to toss my hands up and down. Um, I actually don't mind if you do say, say that because there's a purpose for it, but mm -hmm. it's not the way you're going to ride no, ultimately. No, it's a tool. It's a tool and you do use it in the test. I mean, I do like in a corner when I want them to go like this more, mm -hmm. I, that up and down along with my seat makes them go like this a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Okay. Is that good? Is that it's good? good. Am, I, am I done or you're should done. I do it without? No, you're okay. done. Thank you. Yeah, very Thank good. Thank you, Bridget. You're welcome. Thanks, Anne. Yes, you're welcome. Hi, Francina.